Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. So in today's video, we will see how to fix touchpad not working on Lenovo IdeaPad 3. So fix one, you can follow, you can turn the touchpad on or off using Windows key plus S. So you need to click Windows logo key and S together. And this will take you to this page. And then make sure the touchpad is set on on that is search for touchpad settings touchpad setting and then you need to make sure that this touchpad is on and leave touchpad on when a mouse is connected so you can see you need to check this box Use the tab key to select the touchpad option. Use the spacebar key to toggle the option. So if again, if this doesn't help you, you need to go to the driver BIOS update. That is, go to settings, go to support.lenovo.com. go to pc and then browse write with your model number and then go to your respective model go to drivers and software and go to manual update and select drivers there you can find this bios slash uef11 click on it and this is the bios update and you need to click on download so this will update your download update your bios and so another fix is we can do a update for individual drivers that is search type uh, logos and press logos and s and search for device manager go to device manager and then here you can find human interface devices extend that and here you can also find hid complaint touchpad so right click on it and update the driver and the next fix is you can reinstall the driver that is click on the uninstall option and then reboot your pc again come back to the same thing by clicking the search and then search for device manager and extend the human interface devices and then right click on the hid complaint touchpad and instead of uninstall option you will get install this device and you can reinstall the device and the last fix is you can restart or reset your pc that is you need to Turn off the PC and remove the peripherals, either it is the charger or any of the USB connected to it. And after removing all the peripherals, you need to go to the Nova button menu. For that, take any pointed object, then on the side, you will have the Nova button thing. You need to click on it and this will take you to this page. Then you need to go to system recovery and click on it. Then you need to go to wait, let it get opened first. You need to go to troubleshoot, go to troubleshoot and click on reset this PC and click on keep my files. It removes apps and other settings, but keeps your personal files. So by fo following these steps, it should help you solve the problem. Thank you for watching. If you think I helped you in some way, do like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.